same song, different dance. That is what the Celtics are hoping. I have one goal at the last job, and that was to win the national championship. And I have one goal at this job, and that's to win an NBA championship. It's the start of training camp, and with that comes media day. Coach Stevens and the players addressed the media, and their message was consistent. Uh, right now, our confidence is at an all-time high right now at the beginning of the season just because, you know, um, the, a lot of guys coming back were on that playoff squad where, you know, we made the playoffs and uh, as a young team. Players came to the practice facility in Waltham where they showed off their new styles and gave the media a sneak peek of the upcoming season. One of the bigger sneak peeks, Jared Sollinger. This is probably the best I ever felt um, emotionally, physically. Um, going into the season. Solinger spent the bulk of the offseason trimming down after his family staged an intervention. They come to my apartment in Columbus and next thing you know it's my mom, my dad, my brother Julian, David Falk, Danielle Cantor, and it's this bald-headed guy by the name of John Lucas. <laughs> and he, he personally came down and told me, he said, you, I have all the talent in the world, but you forgot what working hard is. That motivation will be key to prove he belongs on a team that has more players than spots available. For Coach Stevens, though, he is just anxious to start filling out those roster spots. Uh, I'm always excited to get a season started. I mean, this is this is this is the hardest day from the standpoint that my mind is on other things. My mind's on the first minute of practice tomorrow. With media day just wrapping up, the Celtics now start two-a-day practices for the next six days before heading abroad where they'll face Olympia Milano and Real Madrid and do some team bonding. October 26 marks the day where the rosters in the NBA must be set, so Celtics Press has just around a month to figure out those 15 roster spots. From Waltham, Massachusetts, for the BU News Service, I'm Alex Hirsch.